Hello everybody. I am Hunter Moon and I never do this. I never shown this side of myself before and I'm at work and I've decided that I was going to pull some cards and I just got this feeling like I needed to make this video for anybody that comes across this and this message is for them. So and just bear with me, I have never do videos like this, and I already pulled some cards, and I, I started to get going, so for whoever this reading is for, um, yeah, I'm going to take a chance and just put this out there, I think it's for somebody, and it's a message, I just was going to get into it, and the spirit was telling me to just put it out there for the world to see. So give me one second here. I've already shuffled my cards. I'm going to go ahead and lay them out and then I will go over the message. And if you are the first time coming to this channel, well, welcome. This is my first time coming to my own channel. And I'm going to do the best I can here to pass the messages that I was picking up across. I'm not used to being recording or recording myself. So, I will just flip this around and communicate the messages that came across to me immediately. This is a message for somebody who's going through a big change because this is the tower moment. So these corner cards here for me are going to give us some input um, on the center card. I'll have to do a whole video on my method and routines. The, again, this is just a message for someone. So this tower moment here, um, followed by the two of cups and the fool. So this is basically asking you to take a chance, not only on an opportunity, but with love. And I say that because the fool is also touching the 10 of cups here. And you've been weighing on a decision deep down inside and here you are with the four of wands which represents the home and stability it feels upside down that's how you feel in this card representing you but again i think your emotions you've been contemplating and you've been thinking about this and that's why it's asking you to take a chance and this here is to remind you of the power that you have within yourself and that you carry this with you even when you're contemplating, when you're upside down, this light is within you. Um, again, the root stems, all the symbolism here is that as above, so below. And uh, that's the main message that I'm picking up here. And again this is just for someone who needed to see this hopefully these images can provoke something for you and I'm just gonna grab a couple of clarification cards from my other deck we're just gonna go with the flow and see what we get here this one had two cards. That's okay. We'll take two cards. It's a lot of reverse, a lot of reverse energy, but that just means it's stronger. Okay. So this is what you're afraid of. Okay. An actual real relationship. The hermit, you have to come out of hiding the fool over the fool wow what a confirmation here that you need to find a way to let go right the ace of horns i think this is showing you that you know you've watered these grounds and this is going to turn around for you because you're letting go of all your burden and the Wheel of Fortune, things are turning in your direction here. It looks like you have support from people, at least two people. And then here, okay, so Pentacles, the beginning, okay? It's a little unsteady, it's upside down, but it's the beginning. 
and it looks like over here you've got the six in reverse. But again, as above, so below, so you're leaving something and you're going into a new horizon. And here you have the three of wands and it's in reverse up to the two of wands. So it's like you're coming out of this energy. Maybe you're slowing down a little bit and reflecting, but that's allowing you to realize here, you have that fire within you and you can channel it upwards. You have balance these two horses and two infinity symbols. You just got to bring this fire forward. Well, I'll leave it at that. I hope this makes sense for someone. In addition to all of this, I recommend getting some Shungite and some J.